Houston Real Estate Radio. Welcome to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shannon Register, and we're broadcasting on AM 700 KSEV, the voice of Texas. And we're your voice for Texas real estate news and information you can use. We're coming to you from the RREA.com studio in Spring, Texas, and we're excited to have a very special Memorial Day show lined up for you today. First, we have Colonel Al Nahas here with us in the studio, and later in the show, we'll be giving away his book, Warriors Remembered, uh, to one of our callers that called in with a question. Later in the show, we have Jerry Patterson joining us. He's the chairman of the Texas Veterans Land Board. RREA's in-house lender, Jeff Wagner, will be joining us to discuss VA loans. And we'll have the president of Building Homes for Heroes with us later in the show. So we have a very exciting and informational Memorial Day special lined up for you. I want to thank you for tuning in today, and if you're a veteran or know a veteran that can benefit from any of the programs that we're going to be talking about today on the show, you can go to rrea.com slash radio for more information. And if you have a real estate question or a question about any of today's topics that you'd like answered, you can give us a call here at 281-882-8080. And we'll answer your question on the air. That's 281-882-8088. So let's go ahead and get started with Colonel Nahas. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Shannon. I appreciate your having me. Your book is amazing. That's one reason we're giving away a copy today. It's it's just a a great book, um, inspiring. And I've shared many copies with people that I know, and I have a copy myself, and really enjoy it um, because it's such a tribute to veterans, and I just think it's uh, really fitting for this Memorial Day weekend. So go and tell us a little bit about the book. Well, thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, The book is Warriors Remembered. The subtitle is Vietnam Veterans Welcome Home. And it was written because of the lack of welcome home, really, that most Vietnam veterans got when they uh, returned from the war. Uh, It it, uh, started out as a personal quest just to see some of the Vietnam memorials that were around the country. But as I visited them, uh, I, I... I found that uh, there were a lot of them out there that I knew nothing about. They had very compelling stories as well as photographs. And I just wanted to uh, introduce other Vietnam veterans to them, especially those that might not travel 50 states and, right. uh, and see them for themselves. Uh, so what, what started as a personal quest became a mission. And uh, in uh, Veterans Day 2010, I was able to uh, publish the book after six years and 35,000 miles of travel. Wow. <laughs> That's a, that's a lot of traveling, but you've taken a lot of great pictures along the way. Well, I, I wanted, as I said, to be able to show the memorials in enough detail uh, so that those who would never visit the memorials could see them and understand them. But at the same time, I wanted Warriors Remembered to be a travel log for those that were traveling the country. Mm-hmm. And that's why the book is laid out in nine geographic regions so that uh, veterans who are traveling can plot a course and make sure they don't just pass by uh, memorials. And each story in the book also is accompanied by an exact location of the memorial, so they don't have to search for them like I did. That's fantastic, yeah, because you, you had to search for some of them, didn't you? <laughs> it, it was, uh, you know, when I started this, there was absolutely no list of where these memorials wow. were, uh, and I had to create a list myself, which now numbers over a 1,000 memorials around the country, and I know there are many that I don't know about or have not included on my list. Uh, but there's 100 memorials in the book, uh, 285 photographs, and, and 100 stories of the people who built the memorials. This is not a war story book. It's a story of the service of primarily Vietnam veterans after their service in Vietnam and why they went about uh, building memorials to honor their fallen brothers and also their surviving uh, veterans. It is a fantastic book, and I know that there are a lot of, of really moving stories in the book. Do you have a favorite story, something that stands out in your mind that you want to share? Well, I, I always hesitate to use the word favorite, <laughs> uh, but um, there is a memorial that I think is particularly apropos for Memorial Day. 
uh, and that is the uh, sundial, which is a state memorial in Frankfort, Kentucky. Uh, it's a 24-foot sundial, and the architect laid out in the plaza that is swept by the, the sundial's shadow, he laid out in the plaza the 1,103 names of the fallen warriors from Kentucky, and he put them in a an order such that on the date of the man's death, the point of the shadow of the sundial crosses his name. Oh, wow. It is an amazing engineering feat as well as right. a very con- uh, a compelling memorial because each warrior then is given their own personal memorial day on the date of their death. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, there's one more aspect about that. He put the, the uh, names of the missing in action on the south side of the sundial, knowing that the shadow would never cross their name in hopes that some might return. Wow, that's that's touching. That's in Frankfort, <laughs> Kentucky, and uh, anybody who's traveling through Kentucky, I certainly uh, encourage to stop and see. Sure, absolutely. Um, what's been your reaction from veterans around the country as they read the book and hear about the book? It, it's been universally very positive, first of all, and and. I get comments like, um, Al, I have the book on my coffee table. I can only read one or two stories at a time, uh, but it's a healing process for me. And I think it is a healing process. I know I didn't know I needed healing, but in writing this book, I discovered that anybody who's been to war needs to heal uh, in some form or fashion. Mm -hmm. And I would hope also that the book is becoming... Uh, a contributor to the healing of the nation because our nation needed to heal after the divisiveness of the Vietnam War. And I I would like to say that the uh, Vietnam uh, War commemoration, uh, which is beginning this Memorial Day at the Wall in Washington, has selected the poem from Warriors Remembered to be on the back cover of their uh, brochure, their program for the uh, the events in uh, in Washington this Memorial Day, and we have struck up a a partnership, if you will, uh, where I'm contributing whatever I can to that cause. That will be a 13 year commemoration of the events of the Vietnam War, and and truly is designed as one of their missions as a thank you for Vietnam veterans. Oh, that's fantastic. I can't imagine being at the wall on Memorial Day. It must be so moving because I'm not a veteran. I'm I'm married to a veteran, but I'm not a veteran. And um, when I visited the wall, I I was in college and it still, it was so moving. And I didn't even at the time know anyone that had had been to war. And um, it was so moving just to be there and to see the names and to just, just the ambiance around it. I, I can't imagine it must be so moving to actually be there for a holiday like Memorial Day. It, it truly is. I mean, it's a moving uh, memorial anytime, really, that uh, that you can visit it, uh, but particularly on Memorial Day. Uh, there's another moving time as well, which is addressed in Warriors Remembered, and that's on, on Father's Day. Uh, very often, the, the Gold Star children, which would be the children of fallen warriors, mm-hmm. uh, meet at the, at the wall. It's called the uh, Sons and Daughters. Um, uh, of the Vietnam uh, era, mm-hmm. and and they often wash the wall on Father's Day and wow. put put roses mm-hmm. uh, next to the names of uh, of their fathers uh, who were killed in Vietnam. And you know, Warriors Remembered is such a fabulous book for anybody, but for Father's Day, it makes a great gift. Uh, it really does. And if someone wants to purchase the book, where can they find it? Uh, on my website is uh, the best place. Uh, it's warriorsremembered.com. And I say it's the best place because uh, if uh, whoever purchases the book from my website will send me an email, which there's a form there to do that, uh, I'll personally endorse the book to whoever they plan to give it to or to a veteran to thank him for his service. Fantastic. That is wonderful. Well, it's really a piece of art and history uh, combined. And um, this weekend, we're talking about benefits for veterans and tying that into real estate, of course, because we're a real estate show. Um, But I want to thank veterans from around the state and around the country and even around the world that are listening to us today at rrea.com slash radio because you can stream it live. And after uh, this commercial break, we'll be right back with Jerry Patterson from the Texas Veterans Land Board. (music) 